Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Hopefully y'all having a great day, or going to have a great day. But uh, yeah, we're back here. Playing some more, like we do. Because this game's a lot of fun, and I, I highly recommend it if y'all have a little bit of cash and you have a PS4, definitely buy it. Um, it's a really good game. I haven't played the second one. I do have it, I just haven't played it. So let's wake this dude up. By my cubbly knees, Timmy, I have terrible news. It seems the monsters are planning to attack us again in, in greater force ever. We do have the stone stockade on our side and stronger weapons than even before, but still, we must not let our guard down. Be sure all of your weapons and urgencies are close at hand and be ready to face the enemy down. So, Timmy, are you prepared for battle? Yes. Here we go. Look at that. It works. Probably don't have to do anything. Unless something shows up. There's still a lot of pretty and up we're gonna have to do for this place, but for now this is still pretty good, I think. These guys I'm kind of worried about a little bit. Don't look like they can do it though. And they're dead. That's it? Nice. We beat the game. No, we didn't. I thought we did. Oh, there's two phases. Oh no, I didn't know there was a second phase. <laughs> oh god. Jeez it. Mistakes were made. It's usually just one phase. Sorry, a lot of citizens are inside are just like, huh, what's, what's going on? I hear noise, I said. Oh, it already killed the Corseman. Holy smokes, this wall is amazing. Oh, this guy. Oh, I'm too slow. Get wrecked. I want all of these things. Yes! Yahtzee! Timmy obtained the red portal. Nice. Guess we need a portal room, maybe? And we got new quests. Let's break that. Let's throw some dirt in my inventory. Um, let's throw this up here. We don't need that for right now. We need you, and we need you, and you, okay. I don't know how many portals you get. So let's see, one portal, space, we'll do it about this big, in case there's a third portal. There we go. And we'll look up, place. Go and then we'll go here. Alrighty. Put some these two dads in here. Perfect. Perfect. I'll change it into an empty room. And this will change how it looks. Oh. Let's break you. And we'll put 
put you back here. Oh, this thing's two by two. Oh, I misjudged that completely wrong. <laughs> Um, no, no, C can y'all get the hell out of here? Oh my god. It's so awkward to place these things. There we go. Another island opens up. Sweet. Bill's his first twin teleporter room. By my eager eyelashes, Timmy, my boy, you've found another teleporter. If it was fine indeed, I just... I was just talking to our new friend, Skaldin. You see, he told me where we might find the legendary blacksmith I mentioned earlier. Or rather, that blacksmith's distant. And it seems the island where this man was last seen is on the center. On the other side of that very portal. You could use persuade the smith to join our town. There are no end to the mighty arms and armory we could build. Now, be sure that the new teleporter is firmly placed, Timmy, and go and track down that man. Timmy, now that you got the new teleporter, you can go to the whole new island. You know, I've been doing a lot of cooking lately, and I'm itching to try some new recipes I've been drinking up. For example, I thought I could stuff... Some Camara beaks with plumberries and grasshoppers <laughs> and ball them up in a mixture of earth and blue glue. <laughs> but when I told Rolla the idea, he said he'll die if he had to eat something like that. <laughs> so, Timmy, I was wondering if you could show me one of the new recipes you've invented. Something that tastes very tasty but doesn't make you die. I know you're really busy doing things for Rolo and everyone else. I don't mind if you can't help me straight away. All right, let's go. Let's get out to here. All right, so this should be the little red thing? Yes. So now we have access to the sands. Glass. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I was waiting for more. Usually there's a lot of things. Alright, so we have access to sand. Sandstone. A lump of iron. Okay, we found iron, guys. Sweet. So that iron's gonna make really strong weapons now. Alright, so bunnies. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Almost had me. Ow! Get wrecked. Yeah, suck it. Oh, I still gotta... Okay. Who else wants to get wrecked by the mighty builder of dreams? Prickly Preach. Alright, so we're looking for something here. I don't know what. Looking for a guy. Oh, inventory's already full. We've been here a whole two seconds, so oh, inventory's already full. Oh, he's gold. He's gold! Oh, he's brick. <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Oh, my gosh. That did nothing. All right. Oh no. That looked cool. Is 
See, the jumping helps dodge. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on our search for the legendary smithsman. Hey, human, I'm over here. Yeah, well. There's a dude over there. I ain't worried about scorpions either. We're just gonna run past them. Oh my gosh, everything wants me dead. Oh, he must be in that house. Oh, there's some purple stuff here too. Over here! Pippa. Oh, hello, Timmy. What are you doing here? You're not Pippa. Ah, so Rolla sent you here to look for the legendary spirit, did he? And he came running straight away, I suppose. Honestly, that really beardy, beardy Scott, you working like his own personal dogs. Huh? You want to know what I'm doing here? Hee hee hee. Hey, Timmy. Why don't you leave that lazy old geezer beyond and run away with me? The truth is, everyone back in Kington really gets on my nerve and I just can't take it anymore. Come on, Timmy. Run away with me. Let's start a new life together, just the two of us. In hell. Oh. Actually, I'm just gonna power through it. <laughs> I got the key. Oh, it went into the big storage. Um, there it is. Okay, let's... And let's grab the key. Dude. Yeah, that's what you get for being nosy. Hello. Oh man, you look rough. Who are you? Seems as how you made it in here, I take it you got the better of that guard. But more importantly, you what you have doing around here is in the first place. Huh? Building your own city, are you? And you're looking for a certain blacksmith to help you out? Then you're in luck, lad. If you want a blacksmith, you come to the right place. I'm Magus, heir of the legendary Mago. But let's save the proper injuries for later, so you can tell me all about your town once we get out there. Can I? No, I can't break that. Dang. All right, so we got a dude. We got a scorpion. I probably should just take the chimera wing back. Oh. Thou can't see me? How very inexperienced. This rare indeed that can see a deslin of the spirit realm, I shall I. What man of a man am I? I was once a culinary of much renown. I created the most slumptious dishes you unlike all the realm have ever seen before. The pinnacle of my work was the invention of the brick barbecue. I just never did get a chance to share my ingenious idea with the world. The intense and aromas of the very last meal attracted a band of Roman monsters with my dish of spice Plumberries not enough to satisfy their hunger that shrew me. But very be wary, traveler, with great chrysum come great danger. Alright, let's let's I like how he's just standing there. Oh no. Okay. Woo! Magus got that dude. There we go. 
Thou stained the monsters. That's plenty. I was hoping to offer thee a waiter's role in my spirit spectral restaurant. Ah, uh, but since thou canst see me, may I put there another role. And I bid thee assume my mental carry on my legacy of culinary research and make us of the secrets I did uncover. Go out into the land of living and become the greatest culinary in the world. What thou thou's offered. Few would refuse, would thou become the one and only head chef of Afgard? What? Thou art too busy to build to turn your hand to anything else? Blah! A fool, dost thou not see the cooking is but another form of building? Each meal brings hope and happiness to the hearts of those who consume it. Should us truly hope to save this world, I agree thee to continue my work. I shall teach you how to build a brick gar barbecue. Protest all thou might, but thou shalt be taught. I allow my genius to aid thee in thou quest to make Africa rise again. Neat. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Um, where was that dude at? Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. This is where that other dude was, right? Hey, human, over here! Still your well first. Oh, we got a ghost incoming. Hey, you. You're the Timmy boy Cobblerella was talking about. I really hate, hate, hate you humans, but Cobblerella told us we have to help you. And what she says goes, I'll give you a lowdown on the local area, but nothing more. This place is called the Damdari Desert. There's n never been anything here for as long as anyone remembers. Well, I say there's nothing here, but there's still all sorts of material you won't find near Hamberton Heights. If you're looking into that sort of thing, you should take a look, look around. All right, let's just spin one of these. I'm cool with spinning one of those. Take a shortcut back to the to the base. Who's this bum looking dude? What? Who is this? Phew, I finally made it. I found the source of the light. Look at these beautiful buildings. I've heard the rumors, but I never imagined it would be anything like this. Hold on. You didn't build this whole town yourself, did you? But that would mean you must be him, the builder. <laughs> Great God is above. This is incredible. I can't believe I'm meeting the real live builder in real life flesh. So you're rebuilding the ruins of Canton, aren't you? The city that was once washed over by the giant golem. My name's Sheldon, by the way. I was traveling or, or, or traveling the world for a long, long time before I finally found my way to this place. I know I don't have much to offer, but I would grad would grad would gladly gad, oh gladly tell you the lands I've seen in my wares. I can't say how much use you could make of my information like that, but I'm happy to tell you all I am. If it's all right with you, I'll set it in straight away. Gah. Did you build this whole place yourself? No doubt about it. Then you're the boy who, you're the boy they was always telling stories about the legendary builder. If you don't mind, make you, I'll make myself at home. I ain't special, but I'll help whatever way I can. But that bothers me. This land you're building on. This is where the old fortress city of Kington used to be. Did you think it's true what they said? That the place was pounded into the ground by a giant golem? Probably. What's that? The golem didn't destroy Kington? It protected the place? Well, 
it all happened hundreds of years ago now, so I suppose we'll never know what really happened. But the story I heard was passed down by the survivors themselves. I can't see why they'll lie about a thing like that. Anyway, seeing how you're the legendary builder and I'm distant legendary blacksmith, I shall probably teach you the secrets of making iron arms, like my father taught me and his father taught him. Of course, you'll need plenty of iron to get started, and you're running low. The Dumb Desert is full of it. Iron Sword. Sludge Hammer. <laughs> iron Armor. Iron Shield. Neat. I keep forgetting that's not the button. Um, where is it you go? Status. Uh, we have four more days. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do the first challenge. That sucks, but eh. We'll get there. Alright, so we're going to make as many of these as we can. The wooden door. The shovel. Armental swords. Ooh, 300 points. Holy smokes. Armental armor. Okay. I'm always like waiting to see if there's new things. <laughs> Let's make some glass. Dressing table. Window. <laughs> So let's go make a sword. Let's make two of these sludge hammers, because why not? We got the resources. Perfect. And then we'll put. I don't know why this is in here. Unless the villagers put it in. That might have been the thing. Alright, the villagers are annoying species, nonetheless. Alright, so let's put away. Oh. Let's. I can't unequip it there. Remove. Remove. Oh, can we make the armor? Hell to the yeah. And the shield, please. Alright, so we're, we're... We're getting pretty kitted up right now. Something blowing up my door. And I don't appreciate people blowing up my door. Alright, let's go over here. Um. Oh, there. All right, let's run over this side of the house, and we'll put this food stuff in here, I guess. That's just a rum, dude. Ain't nothing in there. <laughs> that dude's so nosy. Put away, put away. We got upgrades for days. We need to build a... This thing. So we need brick wall and a cook fire. Do we not have brick wall? Alrighty. Run back over here. I think we build the stones in here. Nice. And then we should be able to build this dude. Which in return upgrades our kitchen.
Barbecue kitchen, yes. So now we can make all of the things. Mm-hmm. Some buttermilk. I'm just gonna make some of this. Because that might happen. Uh, a servant salad that is healthy as is healthy it cannot be eaten. Okay. <laughs> salad plate. Okay. So let's go over here. I will throw that in there. That in there. Let's open our inventory. Our inventory looks like the poo. Um, there it is. All that for 200 points. Oops, I did not want to throw that in there. I was going to eat that. <laughs> um, yeah, we can throw that in there. And then all this stuff can go in here. Like so. We can put you... Um... We built a lot of things already. It's crazy how much stuff we built already. Um, your boy's quest is done, though. By my bad back, you've done it again, Timmy. You brought the blacksmith back to Canton. What's that? You met a monster that looked just like Pippa, and she was guarding Magnus's cell? Hmm, then it is just as I fear the monsters are watching every move. How else could they have known about Pippa and myself? No doubt they captured Magus and expressing to lure us into their trap. These fiends are not to be underestimated. We must redouble our defenses. But before that, good work, Timmy. If you're, if you're not already done so, I recommend you speak with Magus and learn from everything he can. Da -da -da -da. I hear you got another quest for me. Timmy, I've been look, talking to Sheldon and our resident traveler in chief. He tells me that the land from which you rescued Magus has all, was known as Demdor. Dem. He also tells us that a vast wealth of treasure is hidden within the Great Pyramids that stands there. The Kenton Chronicles mentions ancient fire-breathing statues called Evil Idols and Sheldon assures me they have formed part of a monster's horde. When we get these statues, we could build even a larger stockade with which to defend our town. So go, Timmy, for the sake of the town, go get them. Make sure you are well aware it is said that the idols are high, are nigh indestructible. Must take the strongest weapon, okay. Neat. So where is your boy? He has no quests. And I forgot what she wants to do. Timmy, are you hard at work thinking of new recipes? I was thinking Sheldon was talking about the other day. He knows about that. He said there was a place called them on the other side of the red teleporter where a super famous chef would live. I bet if you found him, he could teach you all kinds of amazing recipes. The kind of food. Um, the best way to that. I think we found them. That's this thing, right? I didn't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. Oh, I just jumped right down. 
You have gained a new level of power. And that's how you wreck people. Oh, you can be revived. That's cool, trick. And that's how you murder people's face holes. <laughs>